So Craig, uh, what movie are we uh, what movie are we discussing today? The Emoji Movie. I'm gonna need a lot more liquor. Yeah, this should work. The Emoji Movie is a... hold on. The Emoji Movie is a comedy based around those things that moms use unironically with each other. Emojis! The Emoji Movie stars T.J. Miller, James Corden, and Patrick Stewart as a piece of shit. Which, coincidentally, is also what this movie is. And no, that's not an original joke. But hey, neither is this movie. Now before you ask, no, I have not seen the Emoji Movie, because if I wanted to commit suicide, I'd find a much less painful method of doing so. However, after seeing many reviews online of the Emoji Movie, I have come to one startling conclusion. The Emoji Movie is the exact same movie as Wreck-It Ralph. And no, I'm not being extreme over that. They are the exact same movies. Well, except for the fact that Wreck-It Ralph is actually a good movie. So, how exactly is the Emoji Movie the same as Wreck-It Ralph? Well, I'm glad you asked, because here's three reasons why the Emoji Movie is just a much worse version of Wreck-It Ralph. Number one, the setting. Now this one is honestly probably the least convincing of the two, or the three, sorry, but it is still something that is shared very similarly with Wreck-It Ralph, and that is the the setting of the movies and the actual backdrop that they take place in. Okay? First, we're going to talk about Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph is a story... First off, if you've not seen Wreck-It Ralph, pause this video, go watch Wreck-It Ralph, and then come right back. Because it's a great movie, and if you haven't seen it, the hell are you doing? Go watch it, come back, okay? I'm waiting. Alright. You watched it? Yeah? Good. Welcome back. Wreck-It Ralph is a movie that takes place in the video game world, which is represented by arcade machines, which kind of make a hub world of video game characters. Now, in this video game world, it does contain a bunch of characters, both classic and modern characters. Uh, and they can travel through this hub world into other video games and kind of travel around and interact with each other. Now, in this hub world, there's popular characters that are well-known, such as Mario and Sonic, but there's also more loser characters who are out of jobs and such, like Hubert, because, you know, their arcade machines don't exist anymore. Okay? Most of the movie takes place and revolves around these characters going through these different hub worlds and interacting with them, and the end of the movie is heavily relied upon the characters hacking into these hub worlds and changing things to help them out. Okay? That's Wreck-It Ralph. Now, let's discuss the Emoji movies world and setting. And now for this section, I'm going to do something. I'm going to say the exact same things I just said about Wreck-It Ralph, but I'm going to change out the Wreck-It Ralph characters and words for Emoji Movie characters. So I'm going to read this one off my script so I can say it verbatim. Okay? So here we go. The Emoji Movie takes place in the Emoji World, represented through cell phones. This Emoji World contains characters from a wide assortment of both emojis and emoticons, new and old. Through this cell phone hub world, emojis can travel to other apps and interact with one another. There are popular emojis such as Patrick Stewart's piece of shit, and losers like the eggplant emoji, which I do argue is much more popular than the uh, children in the audience will think it is. Most of the movie focuses around the, character, around the emojis going between different apps, and eventually they have to hack into the phone and change things for the better. Sound familiar? Yes, because the Emoji Movie stole its entire premise from Wreck-It Ralph. But Ryan, you say. It's completely different, Ryan. These are hilarious emojis. I use them on my phone every day. I love them. How can this be anything like Wreck-It Ralph? Still unconvinced? Fine. Then let's move on to... The main character. Before we get on to this one, I just want to say, yes, I was well aware in that last segment, I was reading right off my phone to get the script right. 
Looks great, doesn't it? For this one, I'm not using a script, so I can't look at my phone. Which honestly just means it's probably going to be worse. So you're not entirely convinced yet that the Moji movie is the same thing as wreck -It Ralph. Well, number two, the main character is going to convince you. Alright, number two, our main character, wreck -It Ralph, the titular character, is a character that starts off the movie, he's a villain. Okay? Now, Ralph has always been a villain his entire life, but he's having doubts about who he is. He doesn't want to be a villain anymore, and he thinks there's more to him. He wants to be a hero. He wants to change who he is. And so Ralph sets off on a journey across the video game hub world to, in Wreck-It Ralph's plot, earn a medal to prove that he is a hero and not just a villain like the world he lives in has, you know, titled him as such. And that's Ralph. He is driven with the desire to change who he is. But by the end of the movie, Ralph realizes that being bad isn't so bad, and he's okay with being the bad guy. Things, of course, change and people treat him a little bit differently, but Ralph is still okay with playing the villain. That's Ralph. The Emoji Movie's main character is Gene, a meh emoji. But Gene has more than just meh emotions, and he wants to be different and not seen as just the meh he's been, you know, stereotyped as. Just like Ralph, who wants to be more than the villain he's stereotyped as. Crazy, huh? So meh emoji Jean sets off on a journey across the cell phone hub world, just like Ralph did across the video game hub world, to prove himself to his fellow characters emojis and show that he is more than just the meh emoji he is. But just like Ralph, by the end of the movie, he learns that it's okay to be who he is and to accept himself for what he is. Just like Ralph does. They both learn at the end of the movie to accept who they are, and everyone around them likes them more. Yes. Our main characters are driven by the exact same goal, and in the end learn the exact same lesson. They both want to be more than what the world has typecasted them as, but in the end, they learn to accept who they are. It's the same damn movie. But Ryan! I'm not gonna convince Ryan, it's just a coinky dink Fine. You're not convinced yet. I got one last one for you. And this one is what settled it. So let's move on to number three. The snarky female side character. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Wreck It Ralph, our sidekick in the movie, is uh, Vanellope, a, uh, a glitch. Okay, which we'll come back later. A glitch in a video game world and she's kind of snarky and she's somewhat of an outcast and she spends the entire movie, you know, being an outcast. Okay? End of the movie though, big plot twist to Wreck-It Ralph, which you better have seen the darn movie because this is a pretty big spoiler. The big plot twist of Wreck-It Ralph is that Vanellope was actually a princess who was glitched out of her princess role and the end of the movie becomes a princess again and accepts her role. Okay? That's Wreck-It Ralph. The Emoji Movie. Along the way on his journey, Jean the Met emoji runs into a jailbreak emoji. That sentence makes me want to vomit. Jean runs into a jailbreak emoji, a snarky outcast who follows him along on his journey. But wait a second. Partway through the movie, we find out the jailbreak emoji was actually a princess emoji all along. I learned to accept her role. As a princess. So yes, the jailbreak emoji, Vanellope is a glitch, ends up being a princess emoji, just like how Vanellope was a princess in a video game. That's not a coincidence, guys. The other two, fine. Call them coinky things. That is not a coincidence. Both female side characters end up being princesses in disguise. Okay? They're the same darn movies, okay? I just want to stop talking about the Emoji Movie. Please, just agree with me, okay? So there you have it. Three very compelling reasons in my head that the Emoji Movie is the exact same thing as Wreck-It Ralph. The Emoji Movie was a, a, a cash grab. That's all it was, okay? The Emoji Movie took something that was popular they stole a plot from Wreck-It Ralph, 
and they used it to make money. Kids will see a piece of poop emoji, and they'll go, ha, that's funny. Mom, buy me a piece of shit pillow. And it works. Okay? And now I'm not saying that all cash grab movies are bad. Prime example of this is the Lego movie. That movie everyone thought was going to be a cash grab. In a way it still was, but it actually ended up being a very well written, very well done movie. It had a lot of heart to it, animation was breathtakingly gorgeous, and it just ended up being a really well done movie that spawned an entire series. And the Emoji Movie could have been this. The Emoji Movie could have surprised everyone and used a, a medium that was half hated, half loved, and actually surprised the audience by giving us a well-written story with well-developed characters and an interesting plot. Yes, I know, this is a children's movie, just go with it. But instead, the Emoji Movie just stole a plot from Wreck-It Ralph, threw, threw up some emojis on top of it, and called it a day. That's lazy writing, if you ask me. So yeah, there's my three reasons why the Emoji Movie is the exact same thing as Wreck-It Ralph. Have any things you want to add to the discussion? Let me know in the comments below because I would like to hear you guys' opinions on the movie. If you actually have sat through it, let me know what you thought. Uh, but yeah, I do love to hear from you guys. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. I will continue my Tuesday and Thursday schedules and expect more videos like this, more in-depth discussion videos. You know, if you like this kind of video, let me know uh, so I can make more of them. And if you did not, just you know, let me know as well. Constructive criticism is appreciated. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, as always, hitting the like button really helps a lot. Writing comments helps a lot. And if you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Because what are you doing, you dingus? Anyways, this has been Ryan, and this is the last I'll ever discuss of the Emoji Movie. Bye.